again, I find myself at Clapham Junction. Why am I always at Clapham Junction? It's a good place to head south, west. It's time to do... another Lee Station. Stand the class. I've come into the vestibule in between because there's there's no seat in there where I wouldn't be sat with someone, even at a table seat or a double seat. It's that busy. It's really weird. I think South West Railway. If you're watching, you need to run longer trains down the extra line. Maybe not three or six cars, but maybe nine cars all the time. It's quite a busy line. I think a lot of people do it because it's cheaper, especially with a rail card, than going out of Paddington and going down to Exeter that way. Anyway, I have had my tea, except it's not a tea, it's a coffee. I hate to break it to you, sometimes I just drink coffee instead of tea. Sometimes there are days when I drink more coffee than tea. Some days I don't drink tea at all, I just have a water or a juice. Don't panic about the tea, guys. It's okay. Um, but we are about to get to Salisbury, uh, where I pick up my companion for the day. It's weird. Must have come here at least two, maybe three times at all the stations, but I don't really remember the layout of Salisbury Station. This train is late. But my companion is on that train. But it's one of those weird situations. Because of a late-running train, we might be able to make an earlier connection up at Westbury. So we'll see. I'm on the train. I'm on the train. I'm on the train. I'm on the train. And my companion's here. Here. Good afternoon. Say hi. Yeah, good afternoon. Not oh, good morning. Hi, Chris. Hi, Jeff. Chris, you remember, who appeared, has appeared in many, many tube videos like this. And you then appeared again in... Shippy Hill. Shippy Hill. So my gold card is valid uh, between uh, two stations in Ryde on the Isle of Wight. And also, at, at, famously at Horsham. And, uh, to return the, the battery and the spare charger. So basically, you sometimes travel to, to, to Cardiff? No, Bristol. Bath, from Portsmouth, where you live, yeah. and you've often passed through Dilton Marsh, and, you're, right. and you've never seen, sometimes the train doesn't stop, but right. you've, you've rarely seen anybody, anybody gotten off. Basically, you were like, when, we said, when you need to do Dilton Marsh, can I come with you? I did. And I said, yes. Let's go. Warminster. Yeah. Been here before. It's a man wearing shorts in November. Good man. The other thing worth mentioning is that the reason why your train was late, in one sentence, what happened? Um, a needle was found on the train. So we were all evacuated in an orderly fashion. Was it found on the seats or in the, or in the non-existent toilets? Um, I don't know. So they had to like sweep the train to make they sure had that... had to sweep the train. To make sure that no more drug paraphernalia was on, was on the train. Okay. Do you think this is like crime capital then of England, Wiltshire? That's where this happens. Well, I didn't I, think so until we saw the. Oh, um, you say this because because, because the, the vending machine <laughs> at Warminster Station has got a grill on it. Yeah. No, to any Americans watching, none of you. I'm trying to think of some terrible American candy, Mounds bars or uh, uh, Baby Ruth. We've got Kit Kat, Snickers, M and M's, Yorkies, Mars, Toffee Crisp. And not a Hershey in sight. Not a Hershey in sight. You definitely don't get a uh, toffee crisp in the USA. We've got to stop Chris. We're doing too much of Warminster. We don't, this isn't least used Warminster. This is least used Wiltshire, Dillon Marsh. I'm sure, but in I, case there's nothing Dillon Marsh, we'll just, we'll just fill the video with, with everything at Warminster. I've been through Dilton Marsh. I know how little is there's, there. There's not much there, is there? No, we've got to do the poem. There's a poem, people. Are you excited about the poem? Is this our train? So it's nine minutes early. I was going to say, he's not due yet. Are you 13 minutes I met you before. Yeah, when you were doing um, <laughs> what was that? small station chat and all the stuff like that. Yes, we are. Hello. And I'm you're still it. on this line. Are you the 1334? I am, mate. Why are you like we're nine minutes here. early? We're sitting for nine minutes. Okay, this is my friend Chris. Hello. What's his name again? Simon. Simon. Chris, has got, Chris, Chris has got something very important to ask you. 
Um, can we stop at Tilton Marsh, please? Because that's where we're going. He's, ne he's never done a request stop before. Okay. I had no idea. When Vicky and I did least use Chet we we had Simon the gun. And he's back. Just get my ticket checked. Smiley face. Thanks very much. All right, Jeff. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. <laughs> Okay, we just passed the staggered southbound platform. Basically, don't march the platform. It's staggered. That, that's quite a large stagger as well. That's quite a distance. And we're now pulling in to the tiny northbound platform. Be careful, it is a large gap. Wow. That is a large gap. That is a large... Look at this deck. That's big, man. Nice to meet you, Chris. Take care. Simon, thank you so much. Simon, you're brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. But what's Sorry, really I, I think perhaps the first thing we show you <laughs> is, 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 is where the other platform is. What's really crazy is that, that. Is that it's right down there. Oh no, we'll do a brand new thing. You know how we do the most this or the least that yeah. or the furthest from? Is, is there an, another station that where the platforms are further apart in a staggered formation? What's the most staggered? of staggered platforms. I nominate um, Dilton Marsh. Yeah, I think Dilton Marsh has got quite a good guess. Um, <laughs> comments in the, se in the section below, please. <laughs> That's just my line. So it is a request stop. But what's interesting, the guards just told us, I could stand here on the platform, and if I don't indicate to the driver, he won't stop. You've actually got to very visibly indicate, otherwise he'll just assume you are a passenger on the train. It's bench shop time. There's a, there's a natural, nice little proper bench. There's a little, there is. there's a waiting shelter. Um, so we'll, let's go see if there's a help point. Shall we see? We're not in a permit to travel area, so we're not looking for a permit to travel uh, machine, but let's see if there is a ticket I, machine. Weirdly, I, I think the southbound platform will have more facilities. But whilst we're here on the northbound platform, shall we do passenger numbers? Let's do passenger numbers. Do, can you remember what I just told you from the Wikipedia yeah, so article? So, how many people come <laughs> use Dilton Marsh every year, Chris? So, about 16,046 use Dilton Marsh every year. Divide that by 365 for an approximate daily average it figure. Gets us about 45 a day. Mathematician in the house. Actually, you're, you're an accountant, aren't you? I'm an accountant. So, you yeah. can just, just throw some throw, throw some sums at Chris in the YouTube comments, and uh, he'll do them instantly. What's um, 8,050 divided by 9? <laughs> Welcome to our whole new video series called Maths with Chris. <laughs> we should we should do that. Let's not do that. There's a help point on the there's northbound. A, there's a help point. We can see a help and point. And that's it on the northbound platform. We're going to have to walk down to the southbound platform, aren't we? That is literally that is literally, literally, is literally nothing else. Yeah. Um, but oh, there's a timetable. Oh, now to the timetable. And there's the map, there's the Omar Travel Information map. Chris, would you briefly like to just have a count out of how many trains Delta Marsh gets? Going northbound on a Monday to Friday, how many trains? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 12 going um, northbound on a uh, Monday to Friday. Interestingly, Saturdays, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, Sundays, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So whilst most of the line gets a worse service on a Sunday, actually, proportionately, Dilton Marsh still gets quite a few trains. So you exit down a steep ramp, you go under the bridge, and you go up another ramp to get to the southbound platform. Which is even steeper. It, it is quite a steep ramp, isn't it, up to the platform? I think there's a passenger up here. Look. It's another tiny platform. There's a passenger. There's an actual passenger. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Hello, I'm David. Hello, David. Look, this is, everyone, this is David. David, do you live in Dilton Marsh? Um, I live in that estate just over there. <laughs> Can you just tell me why you love Dilton Marsh so much? <laughs> it's a really handy, convenient station, and uh, they are, they're the staff, brilliant on the trains. It's right. the Brighton train. So this is the one that goes all the way to, this is yeah. the one a day to Brighton. This is basically 
basically an identical platform <laughs> to the other one, yeah. except for one addition. Follow Which, me, Jeff. Yeah, all right. Yeah. We actually have a grit box. Um, these platforms are, well, they're, 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 they're gritty enough at the best of times, but temperatures really plunge down here, so uh, presumably somebody at night must come along, apply the grit, and uh, keep you safe. What so you finish that? work at Westbury, uh, yeah. and you walk down the hill, or did you drive? I drove all the way. And you're offering to give us a lift back to Westbury, That's right. so we don't have to wait ages, which is like another two hours for the next train. So you're trained for Fratton. <laughs> We'd love a lift, that'd be great. It's okay. We have to get a cup of tea there somewhere, right? And the po- we haven't done the poem. So the, the other good thing about Simon turning up is that I've now employed him as a cameraman. <laughs> Could you look at the camera, Chris, and explain- well, that, well, you have to do a poem. You can't come to do it on Marsh without doing the poem. But what is the poem all about? So, uh, Sir John Betjeman wrote this poem after the, uh, there were plans to close Dilton Mars Station and it wasn't used enough. Was that because of beaching in the 60s? It was. Right. Uh, the local residents uh, complained. They said that they needed a station. Um, so the station was basically downgraded. Um, what we have left today is what was uh, there. This was rebuilt in 1994. But the poem was basically written about, you know, was it worth keeping it open? And we would like to perform it for you now. Was it worth keeping the hall open, we thought as we looked at the sky? Read through the spread of the cedar tree, with the evening train gone by. Yes, we said, for in the summer the anglers use it, two and sometimes three, will bring their catches of rods and poles and perches, is that a fish? To Westbury, home for tea. There isn't a porter, the platform is made of sleepers. The guard of the last train puts out the light. And high over the lorries and the cattle, the halt unwinking, waits through the Wiltshire night. O oh, housewife safe in the comprehensive churning of the woman's double dread. Husband down at the depot, with car and car bar, the halt is waiting yet. Together. And, and when, when all the horrible roads are finally done, done for, and there's, there's no more petrol left, left in the world to burn, burn. here to the halt from Salisbury and Bristol, the steam yeah. trains. Uh, I feel like I'm all emotional. I feel like hugging you. As long as you can see past me. <laughs> I can see past Dora. Hello, driver. Take us to Westbury, please. <laughs> there used to be a stage where. It got, um, there used to be a through train from Penzance to Portsmouth. Yeah, we're having train chat. Uh, of course, you were, uh, we're uh, asking about local services, um, and stopping patterns and stuff. I remember one. Why wouldn't you? Train went. I'll just go around, spin around, and come back and drop you back off this side. All right, thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a right-handed shake. Look, you get a yeah. proper right-handed. Take care, mate. Nice thank you very you. much. Bye. Bye. Service to through is delayed by approximately four minutes. We're in the cafe at Westbury, the Baytree Cafe. But amusingly, I just remembered Chris doesn't even drink tea. Thankfully, I do, but you, you've got your. I got mechanic okay. Mechanic, we're good. How was your lease use station experience? It was good. Okay. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. Can we get back to yours now? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>